Okay, guys, um, I'm going to talk to you about exporting your final project and what that means because your project is currently in an application and therefore is not published. So we're going to export it and I'm going to talk to you about possibly how to upload it to a different platform later so that you can use it for your portfolio. But here's what I want you to see just for this process. First, your project is here. And notice, remember, that anytime you want to look at all of your projects, you can click Projects and see anything you're working on. Um, but this is the one that I'm working on now. And I, I want to have it leave this application, so I want to know how to do that. So it's really an easy process. And of course, you can use your file notifications up here. But I'm just going to go up here and slide along the top. And if you see, there's this little um, it's look like it's a share button. So like if you've got an iPhone, you've seen this before. But it's a little box with a little arrow pointing up. And that's a share notification, as you can see. So I'm going to click on that. And here's my options. I can send it to something called theater. And theater is a storage space within iMovie where it is processed and exported. And you can actually display it and show it and project it there. Um, but it's going to remain within the application itself. You can email it, which means it's going to condense it into a size that you can then email, but it's going to try to use your email app. And if you don't have that set up, then it's not so effective. iTunes, of course, believe it or not, iTunes it has a movie launch, um, and you can actually store it there. YouTube, which you have, which will automatically be connected. I will tell you that you must remain within a network to make this work. And sometimes there's, it can be a little glitchy. So I'll warn you ahead of time. Yes, you can save it to Facebook, but you're going to have to merge those and set up your accounts to do that. It'll export to Vimeo, which you, again, have to have an account to make that work. It says file and to image. Believe it or not, it'll actually export this movie into your iPhotos if you use image. But we're going to choose file. And file means it's going to make it an independent operational thing. And what's kind of neat is that it'll give me some details. It'll show me, it'll let me scrub my project and see what it looks like. It'll tell me how long my project is by minutes and seconds. I can then have, of course, have it sent to theater as well. But if I want to keep it in a, a storage spot, I can do that. But there's no need for you to do that right now. It'll also let me um, add description and details as well as a title. Um, yes, I do want the format to be both video and audio. And notice that I can change that. I can pop my resolution. Um, notice that I had this set up to run on 720p already instead of the full 1080p. Um, but I can reduce it. Notice I can make it smaller if I'm going to change where it goes. And I want it to compress. I can choose faster or better quality. I can choose the quality that I used. I can choose because ProRes is the highest. But of course, my file is going to be larger if I do that. Um, I might choose that if I'm just going to show this and I want it to be um, large and beautiful like for a presentation. Then it's going to go to Next. And it's going to let me choose where I store where I drop my file. So here I'm going to send it to my desktop. It's going to be here. It's going to be an MP4 format. I can see that and I'm going to save it. Now when I do that, see how there's this little circle that comes up here. So like a little clock and it's going to show the activity of my export. And until that shows 100% folks, your project is not finished exporting and it needs to, you need to let it run. Uh, keep in mind that that your computer screen has your you have to have your computer screen be active and open for it to complete this process. So if you shut your computer screen, it's going to stop this process. So you got to let it run. So you can see there's just a little slice to the pie that's got started. So it's busy exporting and it drops the file on my desktop. And notice that file is incomplete. Um, and I'm going to let this run until it's done. When you are finished and it's totally 100% completed the exportation process. You need to watch it all the way through to make sure that there are no glitches, that there are no mistakes, that it runs the way you want it to. Don't assume that because you exported it out that your project is perfect. It's your job to check your export and make sure it's working. That is where you need to be in time to present. You need to have your project exported and in a format that's ready to go. We will prepare that for your portfolio later. And that's it.